Brian Cox once said that quantum mechanics is deeply weird, but it works. However, what happens when it works in ways even physicists can't explain? The Mayana 1000 cubic quantum chip isn't just breaking computational barriers, it's rewriting the rules of reality itself. This chip features qubits that appear to alter the past, anticipate the future, and defy the very laws of physics. Are we on the verge of a quantum breakthrough, or is this the start of a scientific reckoning? The development of the Mayana 1000 cubic quantum chip represents a massive shift in computational power and quantum mechanics. It was designed to overcome decoherence, which has been a major limitation of traditional quantum computers. This chip uses Mayana fermions, exotic quasi-particles theorized by Rio Mayana in 1937. These fermions, which are their own antiparticles, provide an innovative foundation for topological qubits. These qubits are far more robust against environmental disturbances, making them a game-changer for practical quantum computing. Researchers initially hoped this breakthrough would revolutionize cryptography, drug discovery, material science, and artificial intelligence. However, what started as an engineering triumph quickly turned into an enigma. The chip's deployment has resulted in behaviors so anomalous that they challenge our understanding of quantum physics itself. Researchers have observed computational outputs that seem to alter past inputs. Some qubits maintain superposition states far beyond predicted limits, while others resolve calculations before their conditions are even fully defined. These phenomena have sparked debates among scientists. Are we witnessing a fundamentally new quantum phenomenon? Or are these just artifacts of an undiscovered flaw in the system's architecture? To understand the significance of these anomalies, it's crucial to grasp how Mayana fermions function within a quantum computing framework. Unlike conventional qubits, which are highly susceptible to decoherence, Mayana qubits store information non locally, distributing quantum states across multiple locations in a system. This topological protection makes them resistant to minor perturbations such as temperature fluctuations or electromagnetic interference. This non-local encoding could allow quantum computers to perform calculations with unprecedented stability. The concept of superposition is key to understanding quantum computing. Classical bits exist as either 0 or 1, while qubits can exist in a superposition of both states, allowing for quantum parallelism. The Mayana 1000 cubic expansion was supposed to push computational boundaries, enabling quantum computers to solve problems that would be impossible for even the most advanced supercomputers today. However, the complexities arising from this chip have surpassed even the wildest expectations. From the very first full activation of the system, researchers noted unexpected quantum behaviors. Persistent superposition states were recorded, which standard quantum decoherence models predicted should collapse over time. Yet, certain qubits within the Mayana chip remained in superposition for much longer than expected, suggesting a potential violation of the accepted quantum measurement paradigm. In some experiments, solutions appeared before all input conditions were fully entered. This suggests that the chip's quantum state might evolve independently of classical inputs. These strange findings have led scientists to propose several hypotheses. One theory suggests that the Mayana chip is performing an advanced form of probabilistic sampling across the Hilbert space, predicting outcomes by uncovering hidden patterns within input parameters. This resembles an enhanced version of Bayesian inference, where the quantum state collapses to the most statistically probable outcome even before all classical information is fully processed. Another hypothesis proposes that the system may be using retrocausality, where future states influence past states. This idea challenges our traditional understanding of time and causality. The most radical theory suggests that the chip is sampling solutions from parallel quantum states, meaning the system doesn't just process information but selects from pre-existing probabilities across multiple realities. This interpretation aligns with aspects of the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics, which posits that all possible outcomes exist simultaneously in a superposition until an observation collapses reality into one definitive state. If the Mayana 1000 cubic quantum chip is engaging in multiversal computation, it raises profound ethical questions. For instance, how do we define objective reality in a world where computational processes can retroactively modify past inputs? If a system can predict solutions ahead of time, 
Does this suggest a deterministic undercurrent to the universe, challenging our understanding of free will and quantum randomness? Moreover, such powerful quantum computers could pose serious security risks, especially in fields like cryptography and financial systems. Governments and scientific institutions are already taking precautions. The U.S. Department of Energy has proposed classifying high qubit Mayana research under national security protections. The European Union has advocated for the creation of quantum ethics committees, while China has launched parallel research efforts to validate or debunk the claims surrounding these computational anomalies. The scientific community is at a crossroads, with some pushing for the immediate expansion of Mayana research, while others call for a moratorium until a better understanding is reached. As the Mayana 1000 cubic quantum chip propels us into uncharted territory in both physics and computation, key questions remain. Can these anomalies be reliably reproduced and explained, or is there an undiscovered principle of quantum mechanics at play? Should we develop an international regulatory framework, similar to the one in place for nuclear research? The quantum age is no longer speculative, it's here, and it is evolving in ways we are only beginning to understand. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.